Homemade butter tastes unbelievably fresh and creamy. I tested my first batch of homemade butter against my favourite organic butter brand and the difference was really noticeable. Homemade butter is soft and malleable before being chilled in the refrigerator which makes it perfect for cooking with as it's already soft and doesn't need to be softened beforehand unlike store bought butters. When you make your own butter you're able to add and adjust the amount of salt you want to use. So if you're looking to replicate the salt level of store-bought butter, simply use a quarter of a teaspoon of fine Himalayan pink salt or Celtic sea salt per 4 ounces or 113 grams of homemade butter. The method for making homemade butter is pretty much exactly the same whether you're using a jar, hand whisk, electric hand mixer, stand mixer, food processor or blender. I'll be sharing how to make butter using the jar method in this video. To make the butter, begin pouring 2 cups of chilled heavy cream into a tall glass jar and cap the lid on tight. Vigorously shake the jar up and down using a lot of force to whip the cream. This can take 10-15 to 15 minutes depending on how fast and how forceful you shake the jar. It's a great workout. If you find it takes too long or it's becoming too tiring to get the cream to thicken, Pour the cream into a high speed blender and blend on high for a few seconds until the cream turns into whipped cream. Then transfer the cream back into the jar and continue shaking until the butter fat separates from the buttermilk. The cream will go through three stages before it gets to butter. First, the cream will turn into whipped cream. After that, stiff peaks will begin to form and the buttermilk will start to separate from the butter fat. Finally, you will have solid butter and buttermilk sitting at the bottom. Pour the buttermilk into a separate jar for storage. This can be used to make buttermilk pancakes or other baked goods later on. And place the solid butter fat on a fine mesh strainer set over a bowl and begin squeezing the butter with your hands to remove any remaining buttermilk. Pour the liquid into the jar with the rest of the buttermilk and keep it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Place the butter into a bowl of ice cold water to remove any residual buttermilk. This will need to be done a few times until the water is fairly clear. Add some sea salt to the butter and work it into the butter fat with your hands. Or alternatively, you can leave it unsalted. Transfer the butter to a butter mould and place it in the fridge to set. Remove the hardened butter from the mould and store it in an airtight container in the fridge. Alternatively, you can transfer the butter straight into a glass jar or container and store it in the refrigerator for up to three weeks. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make butter from scratch. Let me know if you try this recipe out yourself and what you think of it. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.